Hello, this is Tamara Sweeney from LoveDominates.com. Um, tonight's video is going to be about um, dealing with court-appointed therapists, um, also dealing with, um, maybe you've talked to a few uh, parental alienation experts and how they are guiding you to speak to your own children. And this obviously is my, my own personal opinion, my own experiences with my own children. Um, but I had like three, no, I had like five um, court appointed therapists. And I can tell you this, it was a waste of time. Um, they helped in the alienation of my children. Um, I'll give you a couple examples. I had one therapist tell me to stay away from my kids um, and to move on with my life. And I also had my children actually put it in a text saying that the therapist told them to stay away from me, that I was crazy, um, you know, and all, all this you know, information that was, I was never diagnosed, I never had an issue. Um, but this is where the wedge is. You don't know what that therapist is telling your children. And when you have the alienator dropping those children off at the therapist, he's guiding them on what to say. And then when he comes to pick them up, he rewards them for putting that other parent down, that targeted parent. That is my, um, experience with all the therapists I have had. I also had another therapist. This was a great one. I had my 12 year old. I won't tell you if it was a male or female, but, um, I had my 12 year old at the time sitting in the counseling room. Like they're going to give me some time with my child. I didn't have a problem in the beginning, but I should feel so fortunate to have 10 minutes with my child. Like I shouldn't say a word. And the therapists were trying to coach me um, what to say, what not to say. Um, you know, it, it was just unbelievable. It, it was it was very coached. It was very methodical, and it was not real. Anyway, so I'm sitting in there, and the therapist goes to me, says, "Tamara, until you respect your daughter, then your daughter will respect you." And my daughter sitting there high-fiving the therapist saying, see, mom, I told you, you need to respect me. And then when I respect, then, then I'll respect you. Now, what did that just do? That just gave my child the, oh, she also told me, get with the times, honey, was her exact words. Get with the times. So she was acting like I was a bad parent and I wasn't updated with the times. So... All she did was give the power to the child to be able to demean me and put me down. And, and I just raised my hands up and I was done with that one. Um, but then there are some other parental alienation experts and they'll give you guidelines on how to speak to your child. And the main thing that they're saying is always reach out, always tell them how much you love you. You love them. Yes, I agree. Uh, to a certain extent. Because, you, to me, the more you keep saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, they're just going to take it like, oh, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. You can say it all day long. Um, but you're just going to be rejected. You're just going to be put down. Um, I think you should always reach out to your children. I think you should always try. Do not let that alienator um, put that wedge between you and the child. I sat there. You know, I listened to the therapist in the beginning and it was like, oh, give them space to get over this. Give them some time. No, do not. Do not. All you're doing is giving them time for that other parent to brainwash them. So my own personal opinion, of course, is go with your gut feeling. You be honest. You be truthful to your child. Um, and you say age appropriate things. So you can sit there and say, I'm really not going to get you involved in this, uh, but I've been forced to. Um, 
because nobody has given me any time with my child. So this is the situation. This is what's going on. I don't want to involve you. I don't want to put stress on your life, but I don't know how else to get to you. I don't know how to, um, you know, see you or tell you that I love you or, or tell you how much I miss you. Um, I just don't get it. To me, all you have to do is be truthful, honest about the situation, and you know maybe your kids aren't old enough to understand. Um, and you can say that. You can say, "Listen, these are an adult situation, and it's very difficult to understand." So know that I love you. Know that I love your father or your mother. Uh, but I'm not agreeing with these behaviors and these behaviors are wrong and these behaviors are right. If a parent loves you, they want you to be with that other parent. If a parent, um, really cares about you, they are going to have some guidelines and they're going to have some discipline in the house. If a parent allows you to do whatever you want, stay out, you know, all through the hours of the night, partying, doing whatever. That's not a parent that is doing what's in your best interest, in a child's best interest. So, bottom line, stay out of the courts. Don't go to any court-appointed therapist. Um, I, I highly recommend going to parental alienation experts and my best bet is just go with your gut feeling go with what you think is right make sure there's no anger in your decision make sure there's no vindictiveness or getting back um, you have to be the better person just love your kids um, and you stand up and role model what is right and what is wrong. Love thy neighbor. You know, love is the ultimate power. Um, treat people the way you want to be treated. Uh, the truth will prevail. Compassion over judgment. Choose love over hate. I could go on and on. <laughs> but um, just, just love the kids. Show them love. Love will conquer the evil. All right, I think I spoke enough. All right, this is Tamar from Love Dominates, and thank you very much for listening.